Nama saya Puan Yasmin binti Nurul Amin. Uh, saya sekarang mengajar di SMK Lasal Petaling Jaya dan uh, subjek yang saya ajar ialah kimia. Okay, uh, tajuk pengajaran saya pada hari ini ialah uh, solubility of salt. Okay, how are you today? Fine. Okay. So based on our previous lesson, okay, where I taught you about salts, okay, and also about the importance of salts in daily life. Okay, so today we're going to look into Solubility of salt. Okay, solubility of salt. Okay. So, how many types of salt are there? Two. Two. Okay. Uh, three. Give me two. Give me the two sol uh, salts. Soluble salt, insoluble salt. Okay. Soluble salts and insoluble salts. Okay. But <coughs> today, okay, before we go further, so I have this bubble salt, okay, or salt bubble, alright. Okay, you need two colors. Okay, for your pen, can you take out two colored pens? If you notice, there are three, four circles of bubbles. Okay, and there's one in blue, and there's three in red. Okay, now the one in blue, that is where the all-time soluble salt is. Okay, now there are three <coughs> soluble salts: Na plus, K plus, and H four plus. Okay, and there's another one here missing, which is NO3 minus. So after this, when you copy down your book, so you just write any plus, K plus, NH4 plus, and then you draw a line. Okay, and you put NO3 minus. So these four salts are all time soluble. soluble. Meaning, if I say sodium chloride, is it soluble? Yes. yes. Okay. Potassium nitrate? Yes. yes, soluble. Okay, so that's part of the example. Okay, and then we have <coughs> another two salts, halides and SO4 to minus. They are also soluble. Okay, let's go to halides. Honey, give me the three halides that we have learned so far. Br minus, Cl minus, I minus. Okay, Yishal, tell me what is Cl minus? Chlorine. Bromide, iodide. Chlorine. Is it correct? Is it correct? Such day? Is this correct? No. Okay. What is the correct answer? Uh, chloride. Chloride. Okay. <coughs> now, we say that this is chloride ion, but we say chlorine gas. This is Cl minus. This is Cl2. Cl2. Okay, notice the difference, Ishal? Yes. Okay. Now, what about Br minus, Ishal? Now try again. Bromide. Yes, bromide ion. I minus? Iodide. Iodide ion. Okay, so for Cl minus, Br minus, and I minus, they are all soluble because they fall in the blue region. Okay, but we have an exception. Okay, what kind of exception? We have Pb2 plus and Ag plus when they are <coughs> combined with any Cl minus, Br minus or I minus, they became an insoluble salt. So, for example, PbCl2, PbBr2, PbI2. Okay? Now, how to memorize this easier? Okay? So, we replace the word Pb and Ag with another word to make it easier for you to remember. Okay? So I'll replace this with permaisuri agong. Okay? Okay, if you want to remember lead and silver, it doesn't sound familiar. But if I say permaisuri agong, okay? You know what's permaisuri agong? Yes. yes, you do. Okay? So it's easier to remember. Okay, for halides, PB and then AGCL, AG, BR and AG, I. Okay, now clear about this? Yes. Okay, now let's go to sulfate. Okay, sulfate we have Pb2+, Ba2+, and Ca2+. So Pb2+, Ba2+, Ca2+, means lead sulfate, and this is barium sulfate, calcium sulfate. Okay, so how to make it easier? Any example? Just now I gave already, for my suri agong. 
Yes, Tanit. Persatuan Bahasa Cina. Persatuan Bahasa Cina. Okay, that's one good one. Any more suggestion? Nazrul? Perempuan banyak cakap. Excellent. Perempuan banyak cakap. But in Lasar, I think the boys banyak cakap. Okay? So, either you say Persatuan Bahasa Cina or Perempuan banyak cakap. I have to accept that. Okay, so, let B A C A. Here, B B A G. <coughs> okay, and then we have top here, carbonate. Okay, so for carbonate, okay, it falls in the red region. What does it mean? Insoluble. insoluble. Okay, but not all carbonates are insoluble. We have three carbonates that are soluble. So, sodium, potassium, ammonium. Ben, why is this three? Ben. All time soluble salt. All time soluble salt. Okay? Clear? Yeah. Alright, now I want you to copy down this diagram before we do the next activity. Make sure you have how many colors? Two. Two different colors. Okay? And then, okay, after you have drawn the circles, at the end, you draw a box like this. But mine is purple, yeah? Okay? So, this is representing blue, soluble. Okay? And then, my red is insoluble. Okay? Clear? So that next time when you reread this, okay, if you don't put this label, then how would you recognize which one is soluble and which one is insoluble? You, could, uh, you can't, yeah? Okay, so draw now. Can I give you like five minutes to settle it? Yeah. Okay, just draw freehand. Huh? It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Now you are to identify the insoluble salts. Okay, so you go to your module. Okay, are you all at this page? Page one, one, two. Yes. yes. Okay. So, uh, in our previous class, you have completed this table, isn't it? Okay. Yes. So what I want you to do now, okay, using your salt bubble, so identify only the insoluble salt. Okay. So you are to use one highlighter only. So you just draw an outline over the box, okay, of your insoluble salt. So can I give you two minutes to settle that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do now. 